Getting to some some examples of the protagonists, uh, who was Gunther Quant and what was his role in the Nazi economy? So Gunther Quant was the patriarch of the Quant dynasty, which today is still Germany's wealthiest dynasty, because one branch, there's two branches, one branch controls the BMW group, which consists of BMW, Mini, Rolls-Royce, they own 47% of it. Uh, two of Günter Kwan's grandchildren. And that makes him uh, not only Germany's wealthiest family, but also Europe's wealthiest family and one of the world's wealthiest uh, families. So Günter Kwan came from a uh, textile uh, producing family outside of Berlin. Um, and he um, basically made so much money or his family business made so much money during World War I producing uniforms uh for um the imperial for the german imperial army and he par parlayed that money and said well i'm not striking out on my own I'm, I'm moving to berlin with my family and um um starting out as an as an investor or basically as a kind of as a corporate raider and he did that very successfully he was able in the 1920s to take over two massive global companies at one hand um um, uh, AFA, which was a battery company, which today is better known as Varta, which still produces batteries and including um, the batteries for uh, AirPods. Um, and at the other hand, he uh, took over DWM, which was a massive global arms uh, company. And of course, when, when um, rearmament started, he was extremely well positioned uh, to profit immediately from the Third Reich um because he controlled one of uh germany's largest weapons producing companies um and produced such iconic arms as the the luger and the mauser pistol uh, among many many uh many other weapons um and uh, and also of course batteries and accumulators were you know uh, incre incredibly important as well to the Nazi war machine because, um, you know, they produced weapons not only for civilian, uh, pardon, pardon, batteries not only for civilian um, uh, cars, and but also for, of course, military vehicles, submarines, um, rockets, uh, etc., etc. Um, so, as and, and these companies were both quite hamstrung by um, the Treaty of Versailles, and immediately, you know, as soon as Hitler announced rearmament, Günter Quant is there to to profit massively, expand his factories, um, and and rake in money. Subsequently, he too, uh, you know, profits massively from Aryanization and expropriation, uh, taking over uh, both um, Jewish-owned businesses. For at, at you know far below market value in um, in Nazi Germany, but as well as in German occupied territories, and thirdly, and we'll get to that in detail in a bit, uh, you know, uh, exploits uh, almost sixty thousand forced and slave laborers, including thousands of concentration camp captives in his in his battery and 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 weapons factories. 